वेलकम डियर स्टूडेंट इन लास्ट लेक्चर वी कंप्लीटेड द बेसिक कंस्ट्रक्शन व्हिच विल हेल्प अस टू कंस्ट्रक्ट द ट्रायंगल्स डियर स्टूडेंट इन अ प्रीवियस स्टैंडर्ड वी लर्न हाउ टू कंस्ट्रक्ट द ट्रायंगल्स इफ सपोज ट्रायंगल ए बी सी इज देयर ए बी सी डियर स्टूडेंट देयर आर टोटल सिक्स पार्ट्स three sides in this case side ab side bc side ac that means a triangle have three sides and the three angles now out of these six parts the measurement of some parts are given then we can construct the triangle suppose length of all these three sides are given then we can construct a triangle that we learn in the previous standard then length of two sides and the angle between that two side is given then also we can construct the triangle or the two angles and the side between that two angle is given then we can construct the triangle that means there are various conditions by using that condition we have construct the triangle this year also we have to construct the triangle and for that purpose see here various conditions are given three conditions we have to follow in first construction we have to learn that is base suppose bc is a base the length of this bc is given then one base angle is given and dear student sum of remaining two sides the length of base is given one base angle is given and the sum of remaining two sides are given then we have to construct the triangle second condition is that base angle is given sorry the base is given the length of bc that is the base is given one base angle is given and the difference between these two sides remaining two sides is given then we have to construct the triangle and dear student last and most interesting condition that the sum of all the sides are given that means perimeter of the triangle is given and measurements of these two base angles are given then we have to construct the triangle dear student this construction is very interesting and all this construction are very easy i hope everyone understood the basic part of construction that which will help us to construct the this type of a construction therefore dear student do the practice of that basic construction and now we have to start with the first part of the construction of a triangle when base length of base one base angle and sum of remaining two sides are given we have to start with practice set 4.1 dear students today we have to start with the chapter number 4 construction of a triangles dear student all of you know the triangle suppose i draw here one triangle triangle pqr this triangle has six elements this pq qr and pr these are the sides of a triangle and this angle p this is angle q and this is a angle r that means here or any triangle it has six elements three sides and three angles out of these six elements if the measurement of any three are given then we can construct a triangle that part we learn in the previous standard suppose see here this is one side pq the length of pq the length of qr and the length of pr are given at that time we can construct the triangle or two sides <coughs> the length of two sides and the angle between that two side is given that means side angle and side that means these three information or the these three measurements are given then we can construct a triangle 
वन मोर थिंग दैट इज इफ टू एंगल्स आर गिवन दैट मीन्स द मेजरमेंट ऑफ टू एंगल्स आर गिवन एंड द साइड बिटवीन दैट टू एंगल इज गिवन देन वी कैन कंस्ट्रक्ट अ ट्रैंगल सच टाइप ऑफ अ कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ अ ट्रैंगल्स वी हैव ऑलरेडी लर्न इन स्टैंडर्ड नाइन्थ सॉरी इन स्टैंडर्ड एट टूडे वी हैव टू कंस्ट्रक्ट अ ट्रैंगल बट द कंडीशंस आर डिफरंट हियर वी हैव टू लर्न थ्री कंडीशंस आर गिवन एंड बाय यूजिंग दैट थ्री कंडीशंस वी हैव टू लर्न हाउ टू कंस्ट्रक्ट अ ट्रैंगल बाय यूजिंग द गिवन कंडीशंस very simple and very interesting topic is there watch this video up to the end do not skip any part it will help you to understand each and every concept therefore dear student watch the video carefully now see dear student in the video i made for the basic of constructions in that video we learn how to draw a perpendicular bisector and at that time i told you the property of perpendicular bisector and that property we have to use here now what is that property i repeat that property suppose i draw here one segment dear student only doing construction mechanically it is not good you must have to understand the concept behind that construction therefore dear student be careful suppose i draw segment ab here and i draw the perpendicular bisector now how to draw the perpendicular bisector i have already explained you here i just want to tell you the property this is perpendicular bisector and suppose i take any point p on that perpendicular bisector that per point p is equidistant from the end point of that segment this property i have already explained you and that property we have to use here now without wasting time now we have to go to the first type of a construction of a triangle now see what is given see uh, construction 1 is given to construct a triangle when its base dear student c when its base all of you know the base of a triangle and angle adjacent to the base and angle adjacent to the base see the first condition the base second condition an angle adjacent to the base and the sum of the length of remaining side is given sum of length of remaining sides first of all you must have to understand what is given what is the concept that you have to understand to construct a triangle that means we have to construct a triangle but when when its base and one base angle and the sum of remaining two sides of a triangle are given that means see here suppose i draw here one triangle in this triangle suppose triangle pqr is there in this triangle qr we can take as a base that means the length of this base is given then there are two adjacent angle to the base one angle is a q and another angle as a r measurement of any one angle is given and the third thing is most important thing that is the sum of these two remaining sides that means pq plus pr if we make the sum of these two and if that sum is given then we have to construct a triangle therefore dear student when you have to solve the sum first read the sum carefully try to understand what information is given and then according to the given conditions try to construct a triangle one more thing i want to tell you here the analytical figure or the rough figure is most important therefore first of all we have to construct the rough figure now see here 
वी डायरेक्टली गो टू द प्रैक्टिस सेट 4.1 क्वेश्चन नंबर फर्स्ट वन इज गिवन डेयर स्टूडेंट रिमेम्बर दिस टाइप ऑफ अ कंस्ट्रक्शन इज वेन द बेस इज गिवन द एंगल एडजेसन टू द बेस एंड द सम ऑफ रिमेनिंग टू साइड्स आर गिवन देन वी हैव टू कंस्ट्रक्ट अ ट्रैंगल दीज आर द कंडीशन नाउ सी हियर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल रीड द क्वेश्चन कंस्ट्रक्ट ट्रैंगल पी क्यू आर दैट मीन्स द नेम ऑफ अ ट्रैंगल इज ट्रैंगल पी क्यू आर देन इन विच कंडीशन आर क्यू आर इज इक्वल टू फोर पॉइंट टू सेंटीमीटर दैट मीन्स आउट ऑफ दिस थ्री साइड द लेंथ ऑफ वन साइड ऑफ अ ट्रैंगल इज गिवन एंगल क्यू इज फोर्टी डिग्री नाउ सी हियर द नेम ऑफ लेंथ द नेम ऑफ साइड इज क्यू आर क्यू आर एंड एंगल क्यू इज गिवन दैट मीन्स दिस क्यू आर इज द बेस एंड क्यू दैट मीन्स द एंगल एडजन टू द बेस इज गिवन दैट इज फोर्टी डिग्री दैट इज एक्यूट एंगल एंड नेक्स्ट कंडीशन इज पी क्यू प्लस पी आर इज इक्वल टू एट पॉइंट फाइव सेंटीमीटर सी इन दिस ट्रैंगल थ्री साइड्स पी क्यू क्यू आर एंड पी आर हियर P Q plus P R is given and Q R is given. That means base length of base one adjacent angle and the sum of remaining two angles. Sorry, sum of remaining two sides is given and we have to construct the triangle. First of all, see how to construct a analytical figure or we say that it is the rough figure. Any triangle we can draw. See here. Here we can draw this. We have to take QR as a base. As all of you know, this is QR, and the length of QR is 4.2 centimeter. Don't forget to write the measurements. See here at the angle Q, the angle is of 40 degree. Now see here at the angle Q, you have to draw the at the point Q, the measurement of angle is 40 degree. Dear student. Here we have to do uh, draw the rough figure, but that rough figure should be in a perfect. Uh, it should not be in a perfect measurement, but it look like that. See here, if we draw this type of angle, then it is ninety degree. Got it? We have to draw the angle of forty degree. That means acute angle. Therefore, it should not be like this. It will be obtuse angle. Therefore, you we did not have to draw the. accurate measurement but it should be look like as a 40 degree therefore we have to draw the like this and here we have to make the arrow and here the angle is of 40 degree got it now see here from this information we plot the two points if you have to draw the triangle we have to plot the three points here we plot the q point and r point now we have to plot point r sorry point p then how to plot this point r for that purpose see here it should be somewhere here therefore we take here point here point p and p q r is a triangle this is the rough figure now see here here p q and p r that is the sum of p q and p r it should be 8.5 therefore we have to write here p q Plus P R is equal to 8.5 centimeter. Now, how to do the actual construction? For that purpose, dear student, first of all we have to draw the base. Therefore, see here, we have to by using the scale we have to take a distance of 4.2. See here, this is zero, and from zero here it is four, and then two millimeter we have to take. This is the segment QR. This is a segment QR, and it is of 4.2 centimeter. Therefore, we have to write here it is 4.2 centimeter. After that, what we have to do? We have to draw the <coughs> angle of 40 degree at the point Q. Therefore. by using this protractor then 
put the this point on point Q and on this line QR we have to put and dear student I have already explained how to draw the angle this is 0 10 20 30 and 40 now this ray we have to draw here like this and at the end we have to make one arrow now sir because it is a ray the angle at the point q is of 40 degree we have to write it as a 40 degree now dear students see most important part <clears throat> the sum of these two sides that is pq plus pr is 8.5 centimeter therefore for that purpose what we have to do we have to take a distance of 4.5 centimeter in a compass for that purpose how to take i have already explained you put it this on a rough page this is zero and here it is how much distance is 8.5 centimeter therefore put the another point and dear student this is the all of you know that this is the metal point this is the pencil point and put this metal point this is metal point on one point and pencil point on the another point that means we got the distance of 8.5 centimeter then put the metal point on point q and make one arc make one arc on this ray got it now this point is another than that of a pqr suppose i take point a this is point A. We have to construct a triangle PQR. We plot the two point QR. Here we take a distance of 8.5 cm and here we have to take the another point than that of a P that is A we take. Then join this A with R. <coughs> join this A with R. Then we get a one segment here and dear student now we have to plot the point p and for that plotting the point p we have to draw the perpendicular bisector of segment ar we have to draw the perpendicular bisector of segment ar now how to construct a uh, perpendicular bisector for that purpose i have already explained you how to draw the perpendicular bisector perpendicular bisector means it is a perpendicular angle is of 90 degree now see here we have to put the metal point on r take a distance more than that of the half then see dear student somewhere here the midpoint is there of ar then at the opposite to that suppose it is a midpoint therefore opposite to that we have to draw one arc here and another arc on a, another side like this we have to draw the arc got it see be careful at the middle point see here the exactly not but we can assume the middle point and this is the midpoint of that segment and opposite to that we have to draw the two arc keep the same distance and put the metal point on a and draw the intersecting arc to the previous arc like this now see this is not intersecting therefore keep the same distance and we can produce this further or extend this now we have to join these two points see here this is a perpendicular bisector of ar here it is and here we have to write marking like this now dear student see here this intersecting this perpendicular bisector this line is a perpendicular bisector of ar now this inter uh, perpendicular bisector intersect this ray qa at a point and that point we have to take as a point we have to take this point as the point P and join this P with R. 
now join this p with r now dear student see our construction is complete but i want to explain you this now see here how this condition is applied that is pq plus pr is 8.5 how it is now for that purpose see be careful here this ar is a perpendicular is a segment and this line is a perpendicular bisector of this and point p is on a perpendicular bisector therefore dear student can i write pr and pa are equal distance yes perfect because this pa and this p r these are the equidistant from the end point of this therefore dear student see here for that we have to write analysis now how it is then for that purpose see here now first of all tell me here we have to write analysis here q a is equal to q a is equal to q p plus p a by using the betweenness that is by using the betweenness q dash p dash a isn't it any doubt i think everyone understood this q a is equal to q p plus p a now q a the length of q a is 8.5 isn't it yes q a is 8.5 then this q p q p plus this p a but instead of this p a can we write p r yes absolutely because the point p is on a perpendicular bisector of segment a r therefore p r is equal to p a therefore instead of p a we can write here p r here we have to give the reason that is p a is equal to p r therefore dear student we got here q p plus p r is equal to 8.5 centimeter this is a analysis this analysis you must have to write while constructing such type of a triangle i think everyone got this what is this is segment ar and this is the perpendicular bisector therefore on a perpendicular bisector point p is there therefore pr is equal to pa got it now do the construction make the practice of doing the construction neatness and accuracy is most important if you want to get full marks then you must have to do the practice and without practice you can't draw the construction accurate and neat now dear student we have to start with the second sum now from practice set 4.4.1 the second question is given now see here what is given construct triangle xyz in which yz is 6 cm xy plus xz is equal to 9 cm and angle xyz is equal to 50 degree dear student we have to construct the triangle now for that purpose see first of all we have to find out the type construct triangle xyz the name of a triangle is triangle xyz yz is 6 cm then xy plus xz is 9 cm that means base is given sum of two sides is given and the one base angle base is yz and angle y is there therefore it is 50 degree now we have to construct the analytical figure first of all rough figure here we have to draw the triangle xyz base is yz 
द लेंथ इज सिक्स सेंटीमीटर आफ्टर दैट एट द पॉइंट वाय द एंगल इज फिफ्टी डिग्री देर फॉर वी हैव टू कंस्ट्रक्ट द एंगल ऑफ फिफ्टी डिग्री एंड हियर वी हैव टू टेक पॉइंट एक्स देन वी गॉट हियर एक्स वाय जेड हियर वी हैव टू राइट एक्स वाय प्लस एक्स झेड इज इक्वल टू नाइन सेंटीमीटर डे स्टूडंट सी बेस इज गिवन वन बेस एंगल इज गिवन एंड द सम ऑफ रिमेनिंग टू साइड इज गिवन एंड वी हैव टू कंस्ट्रक्ट दट एंगल नाउ सी डियर स्टूडंट फॉर दैट पर्पज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी हैव टू ड्रॉ द बेस नाउ बेस इज हाउ मच बेस इज हाउ मच इट इज सिक्स सेंटीमीटर देर फॉर डियर स्टूडंट बाय यूजिंग दिस स्केल मेक वन सेगमेंट इट इज सिक्स सेंटीमीटर दिस जीरो एंड हियर इट इज सिक्स देर फॉर वी कैन ड्रॉ द सेगमेंट हियर इट इज नेम इज वाय झेड and the length is 6 cm afterwards the angle at the point y is 50 degree therefore at the point y we put this midpoint and this is 0 10 20 30 40 and this is 50 therefore we have to draw the ray which make the angle 50 degree at the point y write it down 50 degree now the sum of remaining two side is given it is 9 cm therefore dear student take a distance of 9 cm for that purpose see here we have to take one point here and on this 9 cm now put the metal point on one point and pencil point adjust on the second point that means in between these two point there is a distance of 9 cm put the metal point on a y and make arc and here it is point w we have to take any point 9 cm take a point w another than that of a x now join this w with z we got one segment and what we have to do dear students yes perfect we have to draw the perpendicular bisector now see here somewhere here midpoint will be there therefore opposite to that we have to draw the first of all we have to take a distance more than half and one arc here and another are on this side put the metal point on w draw the intersecting arc to the previous arc like this got it and join this this is a perpendicular bisector here it is now dear student this perpendicular bisector intersect y w at the point here and dear student that is our point x then join this x with z join this x with z we got the required triangle x y z got it we have to write this analysis now see the point x is on a perpendicular bisector of wz therefore x w is equal to x z x w is equal to x z therefore dear student now we have to write here y w is equal to y x plus x w we have to give the reason y dash x dash w after that see here the length of y w is 9 cm y x 
here it is y x x w instead of this x w we can write x z why because x w is equal to x z a property of perpendicular bisector therefore we got dear student here y x plus x z is equal to 9 cm shear x y plus x z is equal to 9 cm dear student see this is the most important how to draw the perpendicular bisector if perpendicular bisector is wrong then you will lose the marks therefore dear student in a constructions see these markings are most important this arc should be perfect if this is ray then we have to put the arrow here this line therefore you have to make the arrow at both the end such type of precautions you have to take most important thing you must have to give the name to the figures and second one is the measurements what are the measurement that also you have to write in your construction therefore it will give you the full marks now see dear student in practice set 4.2 i completed this first sum then second sum now we have to construct the third one is given construct triangle abc construct triangle abc in which bc is equal to 6.2 cm angle acb is 50 degree and ab plus ac is equal to 9.8 cm see dear student we have to construct the triangle same conditions are given triangle abc in which bc is equal to 6.2 cm angle acb is 50 degree and ab plus ac is equal to 9.8 cm first of all we have to identify the type bc angle c is given that means this is the base and adjacent angle c is given and the sum of remaining two sides first of all draw the analytical figure this is bc how much it is it is 6.2 centimeter at the point c the angle is of 50 degree at the point of c the angle is of 50 degree dear student don't get confused any base angle we can draw the triangle here it is point a and then join this a b dear student a b plus a c is equal to 9.8 centimeter now how to draw the construction first of all c we have to draw the base base is of 6.2 therefore dear student we have to draw the base it is how much 6.2 centimeter 6.2 centimeter therefore this is 0 and here it is 6 after 6 2 millimeter this is a base b c it is 6.2 2 centimeter now at the point c the angle is of how much degree 50 degree at the point c the angle is of 50 degree therefore we have to draw the angle c of 50 degree therefore we have to put now the student we have to use this zero that is clockwise 0 10 20 30 40 and 50 we have to put the arrow now what we have to do dear student the ab plus ac that is the sum of remaining two side is 9.8 therefore we have to take the distance of 9.8 therefore this is 0 <coughs> and here it is 9 after that 9 point <coughs> now <coughs> take a distance Put the metal point on one point and 
adjust the pencil point to the second point now we got the distance of 9.8 put the metal point on c and make one arc dear student accuracy is most important dear student therefore draw it patiently see here this is distance 9.8 therefore put the metal point on c and make the arc like this now this is our point d <coughs> then join this b with d here it is distance is 9.8 cm now what we have to do we have to draw the perpendicular bisector for that purpose <coughs> put the metal point on b take a distance more than half and make one arc <coughs> suppose this will be the midpoint and here opposite to that we have to draw one arc here we have to draw the another arc then we have to put the metal point on d and draw the intersecting arc to the previous one like this <coughs> join this see dear student we have to join this this is the perpendicular bisector now see dear student this is the perpendicular bisector of bd therefore this and this marking we have to make dear student this intersect perpendicular bisector intersect the ray cd at point and that point is point a and join this a with this b we got the triangle abc join this a with b we got the triangle abc where angle c is of 50 degree and the sum of remaining two side is 9.8 dear student now observe this this point a is on a perpendicular bisector of this therefore ab and ad are equal therefore ab is equal to ad now we have to write here the analysis for that purpose see here what we have to write c d or cd is equal to cd is equal to ca plus ad here c dash a dash d betweenness cd is 9.8 is equal to ac that means ca plus ad is equal to ab therefore instead of this ad we can write here ab why because ab is equal to ad and therefore we got here we got here ac plus ab is equal to 9.8 cm now this is our required triangle abc base is 6.2 a angle c is 50 degree and ab plus ac is equal to 9.8 cm dear student here we completed the first construction type that is one base angle is given base is given one base angle is given and sum of remaining two sides is given dear student in practice set 4.1 there are total four questions are there out of that i completed the three and the fourth one is 
reduce for this year that means it is omitted for this year because of covid 19 therefore try to solve the question number four it will not be asked in a exam therefore dear student make the practice of this sum again draw the construction in your notebook and make the practice because practice is important because perfectness that is cleanness neatness and accuracy is most important in a construction dear student here we complete the first topic second topic second construction we will continue in our next lecture dear student i hope everyone understood the process of construction procedure of construction see dear student in a construction cleanness neatness and accuracy is important and this accuracy you will got when you do the practice therefore dear student solve the sum related to this topic which are in a problem set thank you